So check this out guys, I did a 10 day challenge. Um, nobody challenged me other than myself. I wanted to see if I could commit to a few simple exercises for 10 days. And that way I would know uh, that I, if I could or I couldn't, and if I could commit to those 10 days of doing just a couple simple things. For me, it was th three or four simple exercises that I could basically commit to any exercise for 10 days or five days or 20 days or 30 days or whatever. So at the end of this video, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some of those exercises that I did for 10 days. And maybe you can do a 10 day challenge for yourself. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day. Too dark. You know what I like about being in a wheelchair? The number one thing about being in a wheelchair? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs>
500 times or 100 times where zero times, there are many benefits. I mean, if you ever expect or want to or something as simple, well, it's not simple because if it was, I'd be doing it all the time. It's standing up or transferring easier or just making your life easier because you can uh, move your legs a little bit. Try to move your legs any way you can. So I'm going to try to commit. I did it for 10 days. I'm going to try to make it a regular thing. Not that I wasn't moving my legs on a regular basis, but it's, uh, it's important. So that's one thing I did for 10 days. Another thing I did for my 10 day challenge was I used the leg peddler. I put my feet on this little leg cycle that I bought off of Amazon um, a while back and it's got little foot straps and I take my shoes off and get them positioned in there and pull up to it in my wheelchair, put my foot rest out of the way and it's compatible so it's good but I did the leg cycle for 30 minutes a day for 10 days and um, I think that helps some of the tightness in my legs. It helps me sleep better with less muscle spasms. When I'm practicing my gait training or standing up in the standing frame, my legs feel less spastic and, and more um, functional. And when I say more functional, I don't mean uh, like, I just mean more functional, more, more than um, not using the, the leg cycle. So I did that for 10 days for 30 minutes. And I've always, well, not always, for the last few years, tried to use that regularly, but it's not always every day of the week. But I did it 10 days in a row, and uh, I'm sure there are more, there's more than one benefit of doing that. Another thing I did for the 10 days was um, use my homemade, uh, wall pulleys to stretch my arms out, my shoulders, because uh, I think that helps my arm movements. I mean, if you look at me now, I'm sitting here, my arms are resting here, I'm not really moving around or doing much, and when you're in a wheelchair, you know, your body becomes accustomed to the wheelchair, so you you suffer in a lot of ways, your movement is gets limited, doesn't get challenged. So the arm pulleys, um, I think they help me. So, and one more thing I did, well, it's not 10 days yet because I saw it a couple days after I started. Um, I think I'm on day eight with this one, is I stretched my hip flexors, I think, because, you know, I'm not that great at anatomy. But if you sit in a wheelchair all day, your body's here, your legs are like in a, I don't know, a L shape. So your hip flexors and a lot of all of your other muscles, including your hamstrings as well, I think. They're sitting in a shortened position, so they tighten up, and that really wears on your body, and me particularly, my right leg. It aggravates aggravates it a lot, so I'm it's wor always working on both legs, but the right leg in particularly, as much as I can. So for, like I said, I think eight days in a row on this one. What I do, and I saw a couple videos where somebody, they do it after they get in bed, but I recline my wheelchair, puts my body in a different position, and I go all the way back. Well, let me show you. I'll probably have a spasm. And so when I go all the way back, where my hip flexors connect to my pelvis, those muscles are in a different position that they are not used to. So they're being challenged and stretched. And I, um, 
I do this for 10 minutes at a time, but I've been trying to do it twice a day for 10 minutes. And yesterday I was actually tired, so I lay back and I did it for 30 minutes. I haven't done any exercise today, so I'm feeling the stretch and like if I move a certain way, my body's going to spasm, which part of spinal cord injury. But anyway, this stretch I did, I am trying to make a regular thing as well. And If you can figure out how to stretch your body on a regular basis, it's, it's going to make your life, even if you have to be in a wheelchair most of the time, getting your body stretched, it's going to give you a lot of relief and make your life a lot more, give you a better quality of life is what I'm trying to say. Commit